AMD has finally come out with their competitor to DLSS, and this could be pretty huge. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into tech, PC hardware, gaming, stream tips, news and reviews, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So go ahead and drop us a follow and let's talk some tech there. Also, I stream on other days as well. So just drop that follow and catch me whenever I'm live. I'm always happy to chit chat in the stream. So that's right. Like I said, AMD has their their DLSS competitor now out and it's called FSR. Now, if you're not sure exactly what I'm talking about, FSR will take a lower input resolution based on the preset that you give it and dynamically upscale that in uh, let's just say a more advanced way to make that look the right way for your specific resolution and it's supposed to be really easy to implement as well and the support for this is supposed to go all the way back to the RX 400 series GPUs and newer as far as AMD is concerned however it's an open standard and the best part about this is that it should be also usable for Nvidia GPUs as well as the upcoming Intel GPUs. And also a pretty good thing is that it could be used on APUs as well. That's pretty huge because APUs already seem to struggle a little bit. Some GPUs are hard to get, so there are an increasingly increasing number of people on APUs who could definitely take advantage of FSR. Now, a, the, a really good thing about FSR is now it can make an older GPU perform better. So you're getting more for free. And how, you know, how could you, that, how could that be a bad thing? So I recently got an RX 480, a rather unique style, a blower style RX 480 that was apparently out of an Acer Predator pre-built computer. And uh, I got it second hand, 140 bucks. Hey, whatever, it's an RX for, did I say 40? It's an RX 580 4 gig card. Now this is going to represent the type of card that FSR is a pretty significant boon for and the kind of card that there are tons of out there. So if you happen to be an owner of one of these cards and you're looking forward towards a free performance boost, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to be testing out a game called Rift Breaker on my previous main rig, which was, I sometimes now use as a test bench. It has a six core, 12 thread Xeon E5 V2 at 4.5 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, DDR3 1600, and we're gonna be doing this with a 1080p display. So this is a really good combo for this specific type of test. A slight, slightly bit of older hardware paired with slightly bit of older hardware, you know, because people can't exactly get what they want now. This is the kind of stuff that might be representative of what you currently have. And by the way, that Xeon is basically an i7-4930K at 4.5 gigahertz. So let's get to the benchmark. I got one game to show you guys because the support list isn't huge yet, but the best part about that, supposedly it's very easy to implement. Right now, I'm gonna be testing out Rift Breaker. Uh, the Rift Breaker, I think is the name of the title, and it's a demo version. So if you guys also wanna see for yourselves, how this performs, the demo is free. It's free on Steam, so head on over try it and download it. Try it out, turn FSR on, see what you think. Here's my results. to say I actually came away rather impressed with FSR on the RX 580. I have to say I'm actually more impressed than what DLSS 1.0 originally was. We actually have a video on that from way back then. Uh, I'll link it right up here in down in the description below. But uh, yeah, it wasn't great. Everything was very blurry and it wasn't pretty to look at. Meanwhile, FSR at native, which was right there, looked fine, obviously. But then when we did the, the ultra quality preset, it was pretty close to native. You can start to see a little bit of blur creep in, 
but it wasn't too bad and it was really easy to deal with and it got a bit of a performance upgrade so uh, what is that maybe a 10 to 12 fps increase on average for one setting now if you're going to be using fsr and you're on a 1080p display i probably would not recommend going anything under the ultra quality preset but it's your eyes you guys can live with different levels of what you're able to take before it's too much for you to back off and be like no i can't do that uh so like i said feel free to test it out for yourselves or you know just listen to what i have to say it's up to you guys when i switched it down to the quality preset it was a little blurrier but honestly i think it was still okay uh, i could i could actually enjoy it just fine uh, with that preset but the fps boost at that point actually started becoming kind of significant going into well over 100 fps we got 104.8 from 82 so that's a 20 fps increase for just a setting that you that you click over and like i said visual quality was still pretty good then after that even though fps came up a lot we're talking in the balance setting it came up to 110.3 and in the performance setting it came up to all the way to 126.7 um it was blurrier and i didn't like it very much and i don't think you guys will like it that much either so i feel like the top two settings are probably the ones with the most tolerability for the performance that you get but it might also depend on the game and obviously fsr is still going to be a work in progress and still going to get better the start that we have right now with it is definitely promising so yeah, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of FSR on RX 580 content out there, so I wanted to throw my hat in the ring. I uh, know Gamers Nexus tested on the APU, which is awesome, and then other reviewers like Linus tested it uh, with the 6800 XT. Great, sure, but I mean, that one can pull really good FPS all by itself already. RX 580, super common GPU, which probably a lot of you guys have, and uh, this can give you an idea of what you're in store for with your gpu if you have to wait maybe another year a little longer you know whatever supposedly easy to implement so hopefully we'll see more games support this a lot sooner because well the gpu situation isn't really getting any better so we want our performance now right right anyways if you like this video you know what to do also hit that subscribe button and just to just a reminder i stream to twitch every friday 8 p.m pacific and other nights at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew so feel free to stop on by drop a follow and let's talk some tech if you have thoughts on this video please drop a comment down below and let's talk about it anyways we'll see you guys in the next video or in the next stream bye for now also got tons of content right over here a lot of content got some other videos for you guys to check out so feel free to click one of those would really appreciate it the channel can definitely use it please share and watch all the way through and do all the stuff please <laughs> we really want the channel to succeed and it can we need you guys to help with that all right peace out